Hi, this is Will and I'm making a video to describe how to get started setting up your Android phone to submit data to GeoSurvey. If you do not have an account on our GeoSurvey web platform already, you should first go there and register a new account. You can use this link, the register link, to create this account. And please provide a real email address because you will be asked to verify it. The next step is to download our Android app GeoSurvey Collect from the Play Store and you can find it by simply searching for the string GeoSurvey Collect. And here are some screenshots of what you'll expect to see. The next step is to sign into the mobile app by using the same credentials that you established in step one. And you can manage your credentials by clicking on the button in the lower right corner as shown here. After you have signed in, you can click on the big green New Sample button to be shown a list of surveys that you have permission to submit to. You should select a survey that corresponds to the campaign that you're running. So if you're taking pictures of maize, you should select a survey related to maize and so on. After you have selected a survey to submit to, you'll be shown the screen on the left-hand side, which simply asks you to take a photo and provide an optional description later. When you click on the Take Photo button, you'll be shown Android's standard photo taking screen, and you'll just point and shoot. Sometimes issues can occur, such as not being able to determine your location, as shown on the right hand side. We do not like data which is not geo referenced well, so the app will refuse to take a picture unless the GPS accuracy falls below uh, a certain tolerance level. If this occurs, please make sure that your GPS is enabled and preferably that you are outside so that your phone can get a clear connection with the satellites. In the worst case, you can adjust the GPS tolerance, which will be described in a future slide, but this is not recommended. And most importantly, please make sure you get a very clear and clean picture of whatever you're imaging, such as perhaps a leaf of a plant. Also, again, after you've taken the picture, please remember that there is a description field here which can be quite useful to supply additional information to the reviewer on GeoSurvey. So, for example, you might provide information about what part of a maize plant you just took a picture of, such as the lower leaves or the stalks or the upper leaves. Or you could supply other information that you think is useful for people to know about this case. Step six happens automatically. The images that are collected will be stored on your phone along with the descriptions and they'll be automatically uploaded when Wi-Fi becomes available. If you want to see and review the images that you have taken, you can click on the upload log as shown right here on the front page. And then you'll see a screen like the one on the right where all of your samples have been categorized, categorized according to all or pending, meaning they have not been uploaded yet, or things that have already been uploaded, and things that have failed to upload. In order to save on data plans, particularly in the Sub-Saharan Africa context, we do not automatically upload the samples uh, if you are on your data plan, and we wait until Wi-Fi becomes available. However, if you want to force an upload, even if you're not on Wi-Fi, you can go to the pending section and click on entry and use the upload button right here to force the upload. The basic tutorial of how to upload images to GeoSurvey using your phone has ended at this point, but now we will talk about some additional features should you need to use them. If you click on the gear at the bottom of the home page, you will be led to a settings view. And here you can adjust where your photos are stored in internal or external memory, the maximum log capacity, the required GPS accuracy, and whether or not your samples get auto-uploaded in the presence of Wi-Fi. Our current recommendation is to not play too much with these settings. We do not want the required GPS accuracy threshold to be too high, or else your data will not be very accurately georeferenced and it will be hard to know where exactly you took this picture. And this is really important for geospatial mapping. 
The next topic I want to discuss is what determines what surveys are available for you to submit to. We have been talking with scientists as well as various agencies in the agronomy space to determine what kinds of surveys would be of most value to the public. So this is a work in progress. We are gradually creating more and more uh, decision and diagnosis trees for different kinds of crops. If you see a particular plant or if you have a certain use case that you think would be really important to add to GeoSurvey, you can just talk to us and we can discuss uh, how to go about adding that to GeoSurvey and if it makes sense. So that concludes the tutorial on how to submit imagery to GeoSurvey using your mobile phone. There are other tutorials that we are making about the reviewing and diagnosis of those images through the web platform, but those will be separate videos. So to get in touch and report any issues that you might encounter in the field, which were not covered here, please contact us at info at qed.ai and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.